hey y'all welcome back to exotic tea blog i'm back with another video before we get into this one make sure you like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so every single time i post you'll be notified and let's quickly dive into today's topic first of all i'm gonna talk about Nicki minaj jingle ball performance she did i'm like this whole Nicki minaj bringing back old Nicki minaj was so phenomenal honestly Nicki minaj body be giving a 10 out of 10 honestly i decided to talk about this because the queen of rap always knows how to stun no matter how y'all come out trying to play with this woman Nicki minaj is always going to stay beautiful and that's one thing i like about the queen of rap she be out here doing her thing in her own time child wh wh which female rapper do you know right now is looking good as Nicki minaj in her 40s nobody so i'm giving nick minaj flowers i'm loving the look and i can't wait to see what nick minaj has to do with the rest of the looks i'm like her stylist i'm giving her new stylist a 10 out of 10. he be doing nick minaj justice honestly nick minaj be looking so good every fucking time she pop out she be looking so good she been killing them looks all her on um, press run she been doing nikki has been looking so good her hairs her outfit her body like nikki Nicki Minaj is ready to tour honestly ready to tour so I'm here for the queen of rap I'm loving this whole each for Nicki Minaj honestly loving this most people came out saying oh Nicki Minaj is looking so dry like y'all should sit the fuck at the end of the day y'all would be the hater you were you're never gonna be anything like that Nicki Minaj has the body y'all fave ones no shade so y'all should let me know if you about that down below in the comments and Nicki Minaj declines to be on Kanye West album with the new body song she said the train has left the station no disrespect in any ways I just put out a new album why would I put out a song that has been out for over three years so y'all should let me know if you about this down below and low key i believe Nicki minaj is doing this strategically why would why the fuck did she want to put out the song that has been out when she wanted the song kanye west didn't give her the song the song being out we know the verse in and out not like nothing is going to change and now you want Nicki minaj to clear the song no 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 i think kanye west is delusional and he want to use Nicki minaj shine he will he sees Nicki minaj trending he sees what the barbs are doing how the barbs can perform and all of them slowly but shortly want to use Nicki minaj and I can see this. Nicki Minaj can see this from afar. She be going on tour and she sees her rollout to be coming out so good and y'all want to use that. I think Nicki Minaj is making the right choice. Let Kanye West be his and also keep his album to himself. Nicki, stay clear from the new body song. Now, moving over to Lil Nas S. Apparently, it looks like he came out doing a freestyle to Nicki Minaj FTCU. And it's his side to Nas Mirage. So, y'all should let me know if you about this down below. And he asked Nicki Minaj, do Nicki Minaj block team. But I'm going to say this. All the people that was out here funny for Cardi B are now tired of her. I'm on Wiggins did the same thing. Lil Nas is now back to being a barb. He said he is Nicki Minaj's son. So all those people be coming back to Nicki Minaj because she's the right queen. And they, they were so dumb going against the queen of rap. Honestly, Namani, all of them that went against Nicki Minaj, they be flopping. And it's really no shade to them. They can only survive with Payola. But naturally, Nicki Minaj comes with this good cosign. Nicki Minaj being good, giving um, most of these rap girls good cosign. She did give Sexy Red a good cosign. Sexy Red been popping ever since Nicki. And also I Spice. So I see why they're coming out to the Queen of Rap. But y'all should let me know if you about that down below in the comments. Now moving over to the um, industrial plastic bag. Um, Clowny B. So she be out here liking shitty tweets saying, Oh, Cardi B, um, what's the whole unnecessary drama? She be on her own. People be asking her, be looking for her trouble, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, Girl, you was being exposed. So if Billboard couldn't call you out for you doing all those little stunts just for your song to charts, somebody was gonna call you out anyways. And Nicki Minaj didn't mention you. So if the shoe fits, girl, you're gonna put her on. If the shoe fits, you gotta put that on. I, I'm gonna call you Cinderella because you're trying to make the shoe fit so bad. But anyways, y'all should let me know if you about this delusional hole in the comment section. What I, what I know, she's always gonna come online because she basically lives on Twitter. Even when she says she's going on a hiatus, she never lives online. Y'all, I'm telling y'all what the fucking bitch does. She never live online. She always talking on Nicki Minaj and the barbs. That's why her and her garbage gang, aka delusional gang fans, now on the trend Peacock Kitty, Peacock City when her album drops. And I'm like, these people are so delusional. And I don't care if y'all coming out and say, oh, what well, I will always do to Cardi B. I would hate, I would do this. Like, shut the fuck. Y'all coming out hating on Nicki Minaj. So we are the ones coming out to clock y'all duddies. 
but let me know if you know about this girl in the comment section below let me know if moving over to doji card so in my previous video i talked about doji card defending Nicki minaj and all the artists you should look up to and i think that was an apple music interview so basically fans are coming out to call doji card out and say she is faking towards Nicki minaj she should stop the bs she doesn't f for Nicki minaj so y'all just let me know if you know about this down below I don't really care for Doji Cat personally. I don't mess with Doji Cat. And I don't fucking care. But y'all should let me know your thoughts on your opinion if you think Doji Cat was speaking towards Nikki. Now, moving over to Scratch Off. Um, the Scratch Off put out the distraction she wanted to drop towards Nicki Minaj with a 70 year old. Did she put it out? Y'all should let me know down below. I don't fucking care for that. But fans been talking all day and saying, oh, it flopped. Nobody cares. The bars the inland. I never listened to the song. And I would never pay a listen to Scratch Off song. So, y'all should let me know down below if you think Scratch Off put out the song. And like I said, she's always going to flop. So, it ain't new. Let me know if you about this topic down below. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. And I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching.